So we know how to draw basic lines with the pen tool. We know how to draw basic curves with the pen tool. We even know how to connect curves together with the pen tool. However, we are missing a key element here, and that is the ability to change the direction of the anchor point as I'm drawing, or to change the type even from a curve to a straight line to create shapes like what we have along the bottom here as well as the shape along the top. So to create this shape, we're going to run into a pretty substantial problem. So what I'm going to do with the pen tool is I'm going to click and drag down because my first curve is going down. And then I'm going to click and hold where I want the first curve to end and I'm going to drag up. And then that creates my first curve. The problem is, is that at this anchor point, I dragged up which means the next curve coming out of this wants to go up, not down, like what I have in my original drawing. So, I can show you this here. If I just could try and complete the shape, it doesn't work. You see the curve wants to come up out of that anchor point because that is the direction of that handle. So, I need to undo this. And how this would be achieved is you draw your first curve normally, and then before you go and complete your next curve, I need to change this handle. I need to change the direction of this handle, essentially the direction of this outgoing anchor point to moving down because that's the direction I want the curve to go. And you can do this by holding down the Alt key. If I hold down the Alt key while still using the pen tool and I click and hold on that anchor point and I drag down, you see I can change the direction of that handle. It's no longer pointing up, forcing the curve to go up, it's pointing down. And then I can go to where I want the curve to end and of course, I can complete the curve at that point. So Alt can be used to change the direction of an anchor point as you're drawing with the pen tool. And that's such a wonderful feature to know about because then I don't have to constantly be switching back and forth between my pen and my direct selection all the time. Let's do a slightly more complicated shape. So this first one, I'm gonna click and hold and drag up. And then over here, I'm gonna click and hold and drag up again to create that kind of uh, swoosh, that kind of bent uh, curve. Now I want to do a straight line, like a plateau along the top here. But my problem is, is that at this point I dragged up to create an up curve. So if I tried to just create a line by going here and clicking once, it doesn't work. The curve wants to go up. So what I can do is again, I can hold down the Alt key and instead of clicking and dragging, I'm just going to click once. And that essentially converts the outgoing point of this anchor point to be a straight line. If I decided I didn't want a straight line anymore, I want a curve, well I can just hold Alt and drag a new, a new uh, direction for the curve. In this case I do want a straight line, so I'm going to hold Alt and click on that anchor point. Go to where I want the point to end, click, creates a line connecting the two. Then I want to convert this back to a curve so I can hold Alt again, drag down to indicate the direction of that curve, go to where I want it to finish, and then of course complete the last one. So you can utilize Alt to change the direction of an anchor point or even convert the anchor point from a curve to a straight line as you're drawing with the pen tool by holding down that Alt key.